there will be deer widows who will go shopping, and there will be people who go hunting, and there will be people who go to the movies. Yeah, and we got lots of choices. Uh, although it's a light week for new releases, sandwiched here between Thor, The Dark World, which was number one last weekend, and then Catching Fire, which actually the new Hunger Games movie opens next week, Thursday night. Uh, still tickets available for the double feature if you want to see Hunger Games and then Catching Fire on the IMAX and other formats. So. Mm-hmm. The only new wide release this weekend is called The Best Man Holiday, uh, actually a sequel to a movie made 14 years ago called Best Man. Some of the original cast is back, like Terrence Howard, Morris Chestnut, uh, Tay Diggs, uh, Neil Long, Regina Hall. Directed by Spike Lee's cousin, Malcolm Lee, an R-rated uh, comedy drama about what happens when friends get together for the holidays. Mm, that's not funny when that happens. Well, actually, the, the night before Thanksgiving is the big night for that, the biggest bar night of the year, I'm told, because families get together. Together, people come home from school. Uh, they get, you know, they get into town to get all set for Thanksgiving, and they they go to, out to the bar. And yeah. um, you know, I guess we'll talk about Catching Fire when the time comes, the new Hunger Games movie. But I did want to tell you that I went. To, I've seen uh, Twelve Years a Slave, uh, which I thought was uh, <clears throat> at points very difficult to watch, uh, but uh, but obviously very very well done. And uh, and the other one that I saw was at that Studio C, and it was called Red Obsession. It was a, a documentary about how the Chinese are becoming obsessed with uh, French Bordeaux. And I uh, went with Matt Rhodes, who owns a local, local wine shop, and Jim Cash, who is a, a devotee of the vino. And Michael Lepp, I was telling him that I went to see this movie, and he said, in his immortal way, he said, you would, uh, you would have to drag me to this movie at gunpoint. In order to watch that, I mean, it's a it's a it's a documentary on Bordeaux, Michael. Pence. Yeah, fascinating stuff, Ron Van Timmer, and I and and I'm glad there's still a venue, whether it's Studio C or elsewhere, for those types of movies in your theaters. Yeah, that was part of the East Lansing Film Festival, which concluded last night. I I'm sorry to say, I guess. Sorry, uh, but yeah, <laughs> it, it was fantastic. You should have seen it. My bad. The uh, the uh, the deer hunter is probably uh, the interesting movie of the weekend given the given the circumstances. Well, I, you know, there's a romantic comedy that I saw this week called About Time, a British comedy from the guy who did Four Weddings and a Funeral and Love, actually. Delightful uh, rom-com, which, uh, which I'm highly recommending. Uh, and and uh, also this weekend, the Royal Ballet is in coming to town, or at Studio C anyway. There's a special performance of that. UFC 167 is happening on Saturday night at Studio this C. Is and a good, uh, this is a good Celebration Lance and other test. theaters around the state, too. Michael so, Lepp, would no you... Choices. Would... Would you rather see the ballet or the UFC? UFC, that's for sure. <laughs> Somehow, Ron, I think I knew what he was going to say with that And that's that got to be amazing on a giant screen, Ron. Well, the great thing about Studio C is we could watch the documentary about Bordeaux while having a glass of Bordeaux. Beautiful. Marvelous. Ron Van Timmeren. See you at the movies, too. Stay